pressing this cargo monitoring panel, you have to keep and press like these are the tanks. This E8 is in the NAM mode. NAM mode means you cannot hear any alarm if any alarm is coming. It's it is normally regarding NAM mode is regarding your temperature, alleged temperature, alleged and pressure. The high level alarm is still different. So if you want to keep out of the nav mode, just press this nav button at once. You can see these are all the tanks. All the tanks nav nav mode is come out. Now when you want to again go in nav mode, you have to press keep keep and pull this button nav for three seconds. Till the time you hear the third repeat tick tick. So this means now is all NAM mode. So all the tanks, six port, six tower, seven port, seven starboard, eight port, eight starboard. This E2, eight tower. Eight starboard is E2 is coming. This has some problem got with the gauge. That's why E2, E2, E2 is mark error. Same as ten starboard also. Ten starboard also is good some problem with the level gauge this way e2 normally e2 error comes normally e2 errors come when there is moisture in the gauges if, uh, in the, sorry in your sensors if the like uh, if moisture is there in your sensors that time e2 error will come so if you put any silica in that your sensor panel where the sensor panel is there if you put any silica over there uh, it will not come you have to reset the system behind this panel inside the panel there is a button for resetting you reset switch on switch off this ie is also money the same for the float gauge error here the float gauge we have removed the float gauge that's why it's showing zero 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 the float gauge has been removed this is for vapor done line now for testing for testing level alarm temperature alarm and pressure alarm Press now. Uh, press this mode button. Level alarm setting, temperature alarm, pressure alarm. This is all. Then all these are manual. Atmosphere. ZS, these are all manuals. All uh, makers settings. So for level alarm, like you want to go, press enter. Now you keep on and pressing the button enter. The tank will shuffle automatically. So press enter again. This is high level. So more than this, your high level alarm will make the sound. Zero zero point five zero zero. This is high high level. This is your low. So when the alarm go below eleven meters, it will give you a sound. Same. You press enter to go to the next tank. Six tower. High it will show. Six port. Uh, sorry, low it will show. Seven port. High, low. Seven tower. Low. High, low. By pressing this enter button. Now, when you want to change the setting, like when you this high level, this is high high. This zero zero point five zero. You want to you want to change any zero point five. This is negative. Negative is for vacuum normally. So this high high will be only on this zero. You can change. You can change the value by down, up, this moving here, forward and back. Moving the keys. When you want to come out of this mode, keep and hold this mode. Yes. Now, rounds will come. Because we, our tanks are already loaded to 98 percent. That's why rounds will come. High levels are long. But now, as we have switched off our high levels, this panel, this high level panels for all of them are closed. Now we switch now. Same as this high level. This is overfill. This all switch now. This all tanks are giving alarm because the float gauge is going above high level and overfill. The float gauge for the level sensors. And now we can put it off. In voyages, we can put it off. Put it off. Put it off. Now here it will give an alarm. Over four overflow power failure and high level power failure. Because you are switching off your this. Now, when you want to go sim, 
follow this press mode button till the time you get the level alarm now press again temperature alarm pressure alarm for changing the pressure put enter like this is for 6 volt this is the pressure or pv well lifts up at 200 hectopascal or 200 milliwatt if it doesn't lift up we have a setting of 10% of extra so 200 10% more than 10% is 220 so this is our setting if at this point the, it will give an alarm same this is low this is minus for vacuum minus hectopascal minus 35 our vacuum set should lift up for taking section if it doesn't then mine at this hectopascal it will give an alarm so it's the same if you want to change anything up and down moving here and there you can do by this or coming out same same is for temperature alarm setting alarm for going enter is put enter this is the high temperature they put 80 degrees low temperature is minus one say and six I would enter if you want to change the values high up and down here and there or coming out press more button again main screen oil content flow oil discharging and this is ship speed 12.5 knots so normally for for getting your test if you want to make your test normally we use water for testing these are the values we have to test oil content 0 ship speed 10 knots flow 1000 meters per nautical mile these are all values at that point this valve open means this overboard valve should open then same all content you make it 200 shift speed 10 knots flow rate 1000 cubics and lens per nautical mile 20 lens nautical mile liters per nautical mile this off overboard well open let's see again more than 200 now it is at 301 shift speed 10,000 30 liters per nautical mile on this, this is an alarm alarm on the overboard well close then you make it at 200 again then after 200 you reset the values now this all thing is auto flow auto oil discharging auto for making it in manual first we have, first thing is to make it in manual press this button now when you press this down button it will show change with step manual content 000 when you press step now it is on manual now you have to insert the figures how much you want your oil content like it is showing first you have to test it on zero okay now the values are already here zero you want to change the values or then press insert now it is giving giving alarm it, it is giving alarm low flow low minimum limit okay no problem so now insert Hold the button ALT and then put the values to 0, 0, 0, how much you want or like for and then when you enter the value then press the button return now the values are like 2000 ppm so this is the value ok to come back again press insert so this is the value and Hold the button on, make it zero. 
then after that. Now we have seen already oil content in the manual, we can change it to auto by step. Now page up. This is your main menu. Now oil content is auto. We have seen how to make it manual and how to change the values. Now flow. For flow, put page down. It will show page programming. Now for in that page, you make the arrow down. Overboard line, all quality, allow. Flow is auto. Now same. You have to flow also. You have to make it manual. And the value is already set to 1000 cubic per hour. But we don't have to change this value because this case which are there is it 1000 cubics only so you can press the button step you will change the value this step change which step flow is auto when you press step it will flow is manual it will directly become manual and you don't have to change this value because manual values are already set here 1000 cubics no need to change now shift speed speed is auto flow change which step so when you again press it will become manual speed and manual speed is already been set 10 knots you can change the values if you want or not because but for this test you don't have to change this value only in manual directly it will come 10 knots okay when making it all manual after that press page up this is your main page so at that time after making manual it will show manual manual oil discharge manual it will be zero thousand cubics oil discharging same zero shift speed to show 10 knots now proceeding all this value you know putting your fresh in engine room you have fresh water walls getting your fresh opening your fresh water walls for the line press overboard valve when you press overboard valve it will make an circulation it will make a sampling over there it will test automate how much the content is there then if the content is zero oil content is zero the overboard valve is open and again change the value to 200, 300, 1, 200 you can see overboard well open, open, close, open this 300 one will close 200 again it will open and then again you have to go back pay it down, you have to change everything in auto, auto, auto same as like now